Hello students, welcome to my class on sex determination with usual amount of discussion on sex determination in humans, birds and honeybees. Many questions arise, what is sex, what is the definition of sex, what is the mechanism of sex determination, just imagine, except unicellular organisms, except some unicellular organisms, no individual is immortal. Everybody has to face the natural death. If the natural death is a certainty, then there must be some biological processes to counter it for continuity of the race, for preservation of the species. Yes, that is reproduction, the chief biological function of the sex, the process by which an animal produces its own kind for continuity of the race. Okay? So, the chief biological function of the sex is reproduction. So, how can you define the sex? Since the chief biological function of sex is reproduction, the reproductive function of an individual defines its sex. Okay? The sperm producing individuals are called males, the egg producing individuals are called females, the individuals which produce sperms and eggs are called hermaphrodites and also you have observed many morphological differences between male and female sex of an organism. Numbers of anatomical, physiological, behavioral differences are also there. So, how do you integrate all these informations to define the sex? Logically speaking, the sex is an aggregation of morphological, anatomical, physiological and behavioral qualities by which a sperm producing individual or male differs from egg producing individual or the female, right. Let us talk about the sex determination system. What is sex determination system? Sex determination system is a biological system which determines sex of one individual, okay. This sex determination mechanism is not universal. It means the same mechanism is not applicable for all species. In most of the organisms, the sex is determined by specific chromosomes called sex chromosomes. In some species, haplodiploidy mechanism is there. In case of honeybee, the males are haploid in nature and the females are diploid in nature. Okay? In some species, the environment determines the sex. You know the sex of the baby crocodile depends upon the temperature at which egg is incubated. Okay? So, number of theories have been given to explain the mechanism of sex determination. Chromosomal theory of sex determination, genetic balance theory, hormonal control for sex determination and environmental factors for sex determination etcetera. Right? In today's class, we shall discuss only the chromosomal basis of sex determination with haplodiploid mechanism, a unique variant of it. So, before going to discuss about the chromosomal mechanism of sex determination, we should know what are chromosomes. Okay? As the slide displayed on the screen, the chromosomes are thread like structures found in the nucleus. Okay? These chromosomes are regarded as hereditary vehicles which contain genes, the hereditary units responsible for determination and inheritance of characters generation after generation. Right? It means the all the informations of a cell is stored in its chromosomes and chromosomes are found in the nucleus. That is why the chromosomes are regarded as the hereditary vehicles, genes are called hereditary units and the nucleus is called control room, control chamber, controlling authority or boss of the cell. Right? So, we can say chromosomes determine everything happening in your body. Right? These chromosomes are of two types sex chromosomes and autosomes. Okay? Now, we shall discuss about the autosomes. 
what are autosomes chromosomes are of two types autosomes and sex chromosomes these autosomes are non sex chromosomes they are non sex chromosomes the carry genes for somatic characters you know in case of human being 23 pairs of chromosomes are there out of which first 22 pairs are called autosomes first 22 pairs Okay. Then what is about the sex chromosomes? The sex chromosomes are responsible for determination of sex. The sex chromosomes are responsible for sexual determination of sexual characteristics and sex linked traits. The sex chromosomes are also called allosomes or idiosomes or heterosomes. These are of two types. One is the X chromosome another is y chromosome okay are you getting it this x chromosome was discovered by hanking in 1891 in melbourne he called this x chromosome as x body What is about that Y chromosome? Y chromosome, you know, this is the smallest chromosome of our body with least number of genes, and that Y chromosome carries gene SRY, which encodes a protein called TDF, testis determining factor, which is responsible for determination of male sex. Or development of male sex. Okay, Y chromosome is the sex determining chromosome. Presence or absence of Y chromosome determines the sex. The how many X chromosomes present it does not matter. I love to uh, know from you. Jay, tell me what is the sex of uh, a person having genotype 44 plus XXY. How many X chromosomes are there? Two. How many Y chromosomes are there? Only one. But the individual is a male. So, this Y chromosome is the sex determining chromosome. Presence or absence of that Y chromosome determines the sex. If the Y chromosome is present, then the individual is definitely a male. If the Y chromosome is absent, then that is female. Right? Any doubt? Okay. Now, tell me what will be the sex? of the individual having genotype 44 plus X0. The individual is definitely female. You should not think that since the X chromosome is present, the individual is female. No. It is female because the Y chromosome is absent. Here the Y chromosome is present, that is why it is male. That is the Klinefelter syndrome, sterile male. Turner syndrome, sterile female. Right? Any doubt? Now, we shall discuss about the chromosomal basis of sex determination and a unique variant of it that is haplodiploidy mechanism under two headings. First, the heterogametic sex determination and unique mechanism that is haplodiploidy. What is about heterogametic sex determination? Heterogametic. Hetero means what? Different. Heterogametic means either male or female produces two different types of gametes in relation to sex. Right? 
XXXY mechanism in case of human being, XXX0 mechanism in case of grasshopper, squash bug, roundworm, etc., belong to that male heterogamity, right? So, male heterogamity means the male produces two dissimilar types of sperms in relation to sex, the female produces only one type of ova. Similarly, what is about the female heterogamity? Female heterogamity means the female is heterogametic, the female produces two dissimilar types of ova in relation to sex, male produces only one type of sperm in relation to sex. You know the ZWZZ mechanism in case of birds, the Z0, ZZ type of sex determination in butterflies belong to female heterogamity, right? Okay. Now, we shall discuss one by one first x x x y mechanism of sex determination which is based on the sex chromosomes. You know in x x x y mechanism of sex determination the female carries two x chromosomes. So, female produces only one type of ova in relation to sex each of which carries one x chromosome, but male carries one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. So, the male produces two dissimilar types of sperms, 50 percent sperms carry X chromosome and rest 50 percent sperms carry Y chromosome, right. So, if the egg is fertilized by the sperm with genotype carries X chromosome, then the individual will be or the offspring will be a female. If the fertilizing sperm carries Y chromosome, then the offspring will be a male. Okay? We shall discuss this better taking the best example of it that is you human being, the ruler of the world, the highest evolved species. Okay? You just see the slide displayed on the screen, sex determination mechanism in case of human being. In case of human being, you know 23 pairs of chromosomes are there, 22 pairs are autosomes and one pair sex chromosome. In case of female, two X chromosomes are there. In case of male, one X chromosome and one Y chromosome are there. So, the female is homogametic, produces only one type of ova in relation to sex, is carries genotype 22 plus X, but the male produces two dissimilar types of sperms. 50 percent sperms of genotype 22 plus X and rest 50 percent sperms of genotype 22 plus y. If the fertilizing sperm is 22 plus x, then the offspring will be a daughter. If the fertilizing sperm is 22 plus y, then the offspring will be a son. So, the sperms are the variable factors in sex determination in case of human being. But what happens in our society, the females? are often blamed for giving birth to daughters. What a rubbish, because it is the male sperm responsible for determination of sex. So, the female has no role, mother has no role in sex of the offspring. Okay? Are you getting it? Am I able to explain you clearly at this point of time? Okay, fine. Actually, this uh, XXXY mechanism of sex determination was uh, first studied by uh, Wilson and Stevens in milkweed bug that is Ligaeus tersicus. Hence, this type of sex determination is called Ligaeus type. Okay, let us do some exercises. Dear students, you see the questions displayed on the screen. Who described X chromosome of male bug and called it as X body in 1891? Hanking discovered the X chromosome during spermatogenesis in male bug and called it as X body. Okay? Then the next question, the gene SRY, sex determining region of Y chromosome XRY, which codes for protein TDF, testis determining factor is present in dash chromosome. Which chromosome? That is Y chromosome. The dash chromosome is the sex determining 
chromosome in mammals? Answer is Y chromosome because you know presence or absence of Y chromosome determines the sex. If the Y chromosome is present, then the individual is a male. If the Y chromosome is absent, then the individual is a female. Okay? So, Y chromosome is the sex determining chromosome in mammals. Then the next question, XXXY mechanism was first studied by Wilson and Stevens in milk weed bug. Milk weed bug, its zoological name is Legaius tersicus. Hence, the XXXY mechanism is also known as Legaius type. Am I right? Tell me answers of some common questions. The sun receives X chromosome from? The sun receives X chromosome from mother because it receives Y chromosome from the father. The daughter receives X chromosome from both the sexes because you know in case of daughter two X chromosomes are present. It receives one X chromosome from father and another X chromosome from mother. Right? Then the next question which gamete of human determines the sex of the offspring? You know it is the male gamete or the sperm which determines sex of the offspring. If the fertilizing sperm carries X chromosome, then the baby will be a girl. If the fertilizing sperm carries the Y chromosome, then the baby will be a son. Right? Which type of sex determination is called ligase type? Yes, that XXXY mechanism was first studied in a ligase tersicus and that is called ligase type. Let us understand the next mechanism of male heterogamity that is XXX0 mechanism which is seen in case of grasshopper, squash bug, roundworms, etc. In this mechanism, the female carries two X chromosomes and male carries only one X chromosome. So, the female produces only one type of ova each of which carries X chromosome, but male produces two dissimilar types of sperms. 50 percent sperms carry X chromosome and the rest 50 percent sperms do not have X chromosome. Right? We can understand it taking the best example that is in squash bug. The female has 22 chromosomes, the genotype is 20 plus XX. The male has 21 chromosomes that is 20 plus X. So, the female produces only one type of ova that is 10 plus X, but the male produces two dissimilar types of sperms, 50 percent sperms have genotype 10 plus X and the rest 50 percent sperms have genotype only 10, no X chromosome is there. If the fertilizing sperm is 10 plus X, then the genotype of the offspring will be 20 plus XX that is female and if the fertilizing sperm does not contain X chromosome, then the genotype of the offspring will be 20 plus X that is male. Now, we shall discuss about the female heterogamity. You know in case of female heterogamity, the female produces two dissimilar types of ova in relation to sex, but the male produces only one type of sperms in relation to sex. And you know ZW, ZZ type of sex determination and Z0, ZZ type of sex determination are the examples of female heterogamity. First, we shall discuss the ZW, ZZ type of sex determination which is seen in case of birds the master of the air, right. So, in this ZW, ZZ type of sex determination, the Z and W chromosome are given to avoid confusion with XX, XY mechanism, okay. The Z chromosome is larger in size and represents X chromosome of the XY mechanism. Right? In case of female, one Z and one W chromosome are there, but in case of male, two Z chromosomes are there. Can you say what is the chromosome number of birds? No, 
because bars is not a species how can you say it's a chromosome number bars means that is the class apes you can say chromosome number of a species so for autosome sets we can write a a means two sets of autosomes and for sex chromosome in case of female we can write j w so the genotype of the female is a a plus z w and that of the male is a a plus z z so the female produces two dissimilar types of ova 50% ova carry z chromosome that is a plus z and rest 50% ova carry w chromosome that is a plus w but the male produces only one type of sperms that is a plus z if the ovum with genotype a plus z is fertilized by the sperm then the genotype of the offspring will be a a plus z z that is a male and if the ovum with genotype a plus w is fertilized by the sperm then the genotype of the offspring will be a a plus z w that is a female so in case of uh, male heterogamity the male is responsible for male produces two dissimilar types of uh, sperms in relation to sex in case of female heterogamity the female produces two dissimilar types of ova so in case of male heterogamity it is the male gamete responsible for determination of sex of the offspring but in case of female heterogamity it is the female gamete or the ova responsible for determination of sex of the offspring dear students we have discussed x x x y mechanism in human being and x x x zero mechanism in grasshopper roundworm squash bug etc under male heterogamity and z w z z type of sex determination under female heterogamity okay students let's discuss another mechanism of female heterogamity that is z0 z z type of sex determination which is seen in case of butterfly in case of butterfly you know the female carries one z chromosome but the male has two z chromosomes so the female produces two types of ova in relation to sex 50% ova carry z chromosome and rest 50% ova don't have z chromosome but the male produces only one type of sperms in relation to sex each sperm carries a z chromosome right you see the picture displayed on the screen the female is represented by genotype a a plus z0 so it produces two types of ova a plus z and a plus 0 but the male is represented by genotype a a plus z z so it produces only one type of sperms that is a plus z if the ovum with genotype a plus z is fertilized by the sperm then the offspring will be a a plus z z that is male and if the egg with genotype a plus 0 or simply a is fertilized by the sperm then the genotype of the offspring will be a a plus z 0 that is a female okay then we shall go to the next important method of sex determination a unique variant of chromosomal mechanism that is haplodiploid mechanism or male haploid mechanism in case of honeybee but before going to that chapter let's do some exercises how many x chromosomes are present in male roundworm answer is one because you know in case of roundworm grasshopper squash bug the x x x zero mechanism is there so the female carries two x chromosomes and male has only one x chromosome right then the next question which sex 
is heterogametic in XXX0 mechanism? Definitely the male because the female has genotype a XX so produces only one type of gamete in relation to sex which carries X chromosome but male is heterogametic produces two dissimilar types of sperms in relation to sex 50 percent sperms carry X chromosome and rest 50 percent sperms do not have X chromosome. What type of sex determination is seen in case of squash bug? You know obviously XXX0 type because in case of grasshopper, in case of squash bug, in case of round worm the XXX0 mechanism of sex determination is applicable. Okay, fine. Which sex is heterogametic in ZWZZ type of sex determination? You know the ZWZZ type of sex determination is seen in case of birds. In case of birds the female produces two dissimilar types of ova in relation to sex. 50 percent ova carry Z chromosome and rest 50 percent ova carry W chromosome. But male is homogametic produces only one type of sperms in relation to sex each of which carries one Z chromosome. So, in ZWZZ type of sex determination the female is heterogametic right. Then the next question which chromosome of bird represents X chromosome in the human you know the Z chromosome of ZWZZ mechanism in birds represent X chromosome in XXXY mechanism of the human being. Okay. Then the next question which sex is heterogametic in Z0ZZ type of sex determination? Z0ZZ type of sex determination is seen in butterflies and you know in case of butterflies the female produces two different types of ova in relation to sex 50 percent ova carry Z chromosome and rest 50 percent ova do not have Z chromosome. Okay. Which gamete determines sex of the offspring in butterflies? In case of butterflies the female has genotype Z0 so, it produces two dissimilar types of ova or female gamete 50 percent ova carry Z chromosome and rest 50 percent ova do not have Z chromosome. But the male produces only one type of sperms each of which carries one Z chromosome. So, it is the female gamete or the ovum is responsible for determination of sex of the offspring because the female gamete is the variable factor in case of Z0ZZ type of sex determination seen in butterflies. Right? Then the next question how many Z chromosomes are present in male butterfly? In case of butterfly Z0ZZ type of sex determination is there. It means the female is represented by Z0, male is represented by ZZ. So, definitely the male has two Z chromosomes. Okay. Then we shall discuss the unique variant of chromosomal mechanism that is haplodiploidy mechanism or male haploidy or end to end type of sex determination which is seen in case of honeybee you know honeybee is a social insect it is a very small creature with a big life in honeybee three different castes are seen queen drone and worker you know in a hive only one queen is present in honeybee the queen is only female which is functional sexually right that means the queens can produce ova the queen can produce ova right the queen is queen in the real sense no duty is allotted to queen since she is the queen she commands other members what to do queen is the mother of all bees okay 
and that queen is deployed in nature. So the queen is called deployed functional female. Then the next cards that is drone. Drone is haploid in nature. Drone is the functional male. The drone produces the sperm. The drone waits for a chance to mate with the queen. This seems to be the only function of the drone. Because you know in case of honeybee, after mating the drone dies. Drones do not collect nectar or pollen, do not do any other function, simply they wait for a chance to mate with the queen and these drones are haploid in nature. Then what is about the workers? In case of honeybee, the workers are also females, queens are females, workers are females. Queens are deployed functional females, but the workers are sterile females. The workers do not produce ova, they are sterile in nature. Okay, students, let us discuss how the sex of the honeybee is determined. What is the mechanism of sex determination in case of honeybee? In honeybee, the queen is deployed in nature. How many chromosomes are present in the deployed queen? That is 32. Okay. It is deployed in nature. It produces ova by meiosis. So, ova are haploid in nature. Okay. This process is called meiosis. The drone or the male is haploid in nature means n number of chromosomes are present. So, the male produces sperms by mitosis male produces sperms by mitosis. After mating, the queen lays both fertilized and unfertilized eggs. These fertilized eggs are deployed in nature the unfertilized eggs are haploid. These fertilized eggs are developed into females and the unfertilized eggs are developed into males or the drone. This process is called parthenogenesis. Right? So, what is parthenogenesis? The process by which unfertilized eggs are developed into complete embryo is known as parthenogenesis. So, in case of uh, honeybee, the unfertilized eggs are directly developed into male embryos by the process called parthenogenesis, but the females are developed by the process called fertilization. So, the females have deployed number of chromosomes, 2 n number of chromosomes. Out of these females, the functional female is called queen. and the sterile female is called worker. So, now the question comes which factor actually makes a female queen? 
what happens actually all larvae are fed with royal jelly for first 3 days right but after that the drones and workers are fed with pollen and nectar but that uh, royal jelly treatment continues for the queen so the female larvae takes royal jelly beyond third day is destined to be a queen that is the functional female okay so you may say the royal jelly decides the sex no the royal jelly makes the individual fertile or sterile but the sex male or female it is decided by set sub chromosome the if it is haploid then it is male if it is diploid then that is female okay so this mechanism is called haplodiploid mechanism or end to end type of sex determination or male haploid mechanism another interesting thing you just observe what happens in this uh, case the males you see the males don't have father because these males are developed from unfertilized eggs unfertilized eggs are developed into male embryo by the process called parthenogenesis males don't have fathers and thus can't have sons but these males have grandfather and thus can have grandsons how you see the queen which lives over these males are developed from the unfertilized eggs of the queen so queen is the mother of this drone the father of the queen the father of this queen this is the father father of the queen is the grandfather of this male so these males don't have father they are developed from unfertilized egg the, of the queen but these males have grandfather and thus can have grandsons now we shall discuss some questions on honey bees or haplodiploid mechanism now tell me what is the ploidy of the queen bee queen is haploid or diploid no doubt diploid because you know workers and queens are diploid queen is diploid functional female the worker is diploid sterile female okay then what is the ploidy of a drone drone that is the functional male what is that what is the ploidy you know the males are haploid in nature in case of honey bee because they are developed from unfertilized eggs by the process called parthenogenesis right now question comes the drones produce sperms by which process mitosis or meiosis or amitosis drones are haploid in nature hence they produce sperms by mitosis but the queen is diploid in nature so the queen produces ova by meiosis right then the next question the process by which the unfertilized eggs are developed into drones is called as you know the process by which unfertilized egg is developed into an embryo is called parthenogenesis hence in case of honey bee the males are developed from unfertilized eggs by the process called parthenogenesis right then the next question a female larva fed royal jelly beyond its third day if the royal jelly treatment continues beyond third day then that female larva is destined to be a queen okay then the next question which cast in a bee colony is a sterile female you know the workers are sterile females workers don't participate in the process of reproduction workers are workers 
they do everything occurs in the hive they collect pollen and nectars they keep the hive clean they do different types of jobs in the hive but they don't have power of reproduction as they are sterile in nature okay then which type of sex determination is seen in honey bee in case of honey bee you know the haploid mechanism is there or you can say male haploid mechanism or it is also called end to end type of sex determination now we shall discuss some differences between autosomes and allosomes x chromosome and y chromosome male heterogamity and female heterogamity and sex determination in birds and honeybees first we shall discuss the differences between autosomes and allosomes what are allosomes allosomes are the sex chromosomes how do they differ from autosomes to know it let's have a look on the slide displayed on the screen autosomes carry genes for somatic characters but allosomes are the sex chromosomes carry genes for sex determination and sex link traits most of the chromosomes of our genome are autosomes but few chromosomes of the genome are allosomes or sex chromosomes what is about constancy of their number number of autosomes may vary in different species it is not constant in all species but the sex chromosomes are usually one pair okay in most of the species you will find only one pair of sex chromosomes autosomes don't differ with the sex of the individual but the allosomes they usually differ with the sex of the individual because you know in case of human being the male sex is represented by xy and the female sex is represented by xx right what is about the example in case of human being 23 pairs of chromosomes are there out of which first 22 pairs that is from first pair to 22nd pair are called autosomes and what is about the sex chromosomes only the last pair that is the 23rd pair chromosomes are called sex chromosomes or the allosomes right now we shall differentiate between x chromosome and y chromosome x chromosome and y chromosome both are sex chromosomes but how do they differ let's have a look on the slide x chromosome is present in both the sexes it is found in both male and female but y chromosome is restricted to male sex only the x chromosome is comparatively larger in size with more number of genes but you know y chromosome is the smallest chromosome of your body with least number of genes the x chromosome is not the sex determining chromosome in case of human being but you know the y chromosome carries gene SRY which encodes a protein TDF testis determining factor that triggers development of male sex so presence or absence of y chromosome determines sex of the individual so y chromosome is the sex determining chromosome in mammals right any doubt now you know most of the sex link traits are x link why because besides sex related traits the x chromosome also carries genes for other body characters you know mutation of these genes cause various genetic disorders like hemophilia color blindness etc but few sex link traits are y linked like hypertrichosis x link traits are inherited to both the sexes because you know both male and female offspring receive x chromosome from parents but the y y chromosome is inherited from male to male sex only hence the y linked traits are inherited from father to son to grandson and y linked genes are called holandric genes the x chromosome is associated with bar body formation because you know in case of human female out of two x chromosomes one gets inactivated and becomes the bar body but y chromosome is not associated with bar body formation okay now we shall discuss the differences between 
male heterogamety and female heterogamety. Male heterogametic means the male produces two dissimilar types of sperms in relation to sex. Female heterogamety means the female produces two dissimilar types of ova in relation to sex. In case of male heterogamety, the ova are of one type in relation to sex, but in case of female heterogamety, the sperms are of one type in relation to sex. In case of male heterogamety, sperms are the sex determining factors, but in female heterogamety, ova are the sex determining factors. In case of male heterogamety, you know examples are XXXY type and XXX0 type, but in female heterogamety, the examples are ZWZZ type and Z0ZZ type. Okay? Now, you know the best example of male heterogamety as human being XXXY mechanism, but in case of female heterogamety, the good example is BARS that is ZW. Z Z mechanism. Now, we shall differentiate sex determination in birds and sex determination in honeybee. In case of birds, the mechanism is Z W Z Z type. In case of honeybee, the mechanism is haplodiploidy or male haploidy or N to N type. In birds, both males and females are diploid, but in case of honeybee, females are diploid while males are haploid. In case of birds, all offsprings are produced by fertilization. But in case of honeybee, the males are produced from unfertilized eggs by the process called parthenogenesis. In case of birds, all the females produce are fertile in nature, but in case of honeybee, queen and worker both are females, queen is fertile, but workers are sterile. For quick recap, I would like to remember you all the different types of sex determination. I have discussed today that is first the male heterogamity under which XXXY mechanism and uh, XXX0 mechanism are there. You know uh, the XXXY mechanism is seen in case of human beings. In a human being, the female has two X chromosomes, XX and male has only one X chromosome and one Y chromosome that is XY. So, you know there is a consistent cytological difference between male and female somatic cells that is the presence of barbody. Do you know what is barbody? Yes, the barbody was discovered by M L bar in the nerve cell of cat. Number of barbody always one less than the number of X chromosome. How many X chromosomes are present in human female? Two. Out of these two X chromosomes, one gets inactivated and becomes the bar body. So, you will find the bar body in the somatic cell of the female and that cell should be deployed in nature. Sometimes question comes, can you find bar body in the female ovum? No because the genotype of the female ovum is 22 plus x. How many x chromosomes are there? Only one. So, there is no bar body because the number of bar body always one less than the number of x chromosome. How many bar bodies are found in human male? No, because the male has only one x chromosome, another y chromosome is there. So, male has no bar body. But I will give you one example, a female without bar body and male with bar body. A female without bar body, female means no Y chromosome is there, only X chromosome. Forty-four plus X X normal female but female without bar body. So, you have to remove one X chromosome that is 44 plus X 0 Turner syndrome, female without bar body. Similarly, male with a bar body, male 44 plus X Y, one X chromosome is there.
but for bar body another x chromosome is required. So, 44 plus x x y that is Klinefelter syndrome male with a bar body. Okay? Then the next mechanism you know x x x 0 mechanism which is seen in case of squash bug. So, under male heterogamity we have discussed x x x y mechanism in human being, x x x 0 mechanism in squash bug, grasshopper, roundworm etcetera. And in female heterogamity we have discussed z w z z type of sex determination in case of birds and z 0 z z type of sex determination in butterflies. Okay? And last we have discussed the unique method that is the haplodiploid mechanism which is seen in case of honeybees the males are haploid in nature and the females are diploid in nature. The males are developed from unfertilized egg by parthenogenesis and the females are developed from fertilized eggs. Right? Okay, thank you.